Today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem at a medium difficulty level. So this problem was given by Microsoft and the title is find duplicate rows in a binary matrix. So as the input of the program we are going to be given an array of array or a two dimensional matrix where the matrix contain only digit ones and zeros. So in this case the order would matter and so one zero will be different from zero and one. So, here we are going to uh, traverse across the rows in the array or matrix. So, here we find the second occurrence of 1, 0 at row number 2. That is, we are going to append the index of row number 2, which is 1, at the written value of the method call. So, in this case, we have four rows of 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Here, we encounter the duplicate of 1, 0, 0 at row number 2. That is, the index will be 1 and we are going to append 1 at the written value of the method call. Here, we are going to encounter another occurrence of 0, 0, 0. The row number will be 4 and the index will be 3. We are going to append number 3 at the written value of the method call. So let us begin. Oh, I forget to mention there is an expected time complexity. Where the time complexity being accepted should be at order number of rows times number of columns. So let us begin. The trivial way of doing this will be here we have a collection of the first encounter. A row and each time we traverse across the uh, matrix so start index less than ray of ray ray here we are going to fetch a row ray at start index and we are going to check whether the row is already in oh i mean not in alice uh, if it is not in the alice we are going to append to alice so simple as that and otherwise uh, we are going to append uh, the index at a written value of the method call okay then here you can just pen start index here don't forget to increment the start index by the end of the loop here we are going to return the read call don't forget to initialize return value at the beginning okay there is an error it's okay uh, here the object has no attribute append at least append row that for append okay uh, for string we have to append it using plus uh, so oh sorry we initialize it as an array sorry Okay, successful with the total time taken 0 0.3 another way of doing this will be uh, a dictionary using a dictionary this also a very very good solution uh, that has a very good performance uh, and here the row uh, if it is not in a dictionary keys We are going to initialize instead of appending it to a list we are going to initialize edit at uh, key row and then otherwise if we cannot find the key in a row then that means uh, i mean the row in the in in, in the dictionary keys that mean we are uh, we are going to append the start index at the written value of the method call but this is going to cause an error because we are trying to hash a row which is an array uh, at the dictionary. So this is not going to work. 
so for this to work we are going to uh, transform the row into a string of characters which is a string so instead of row we are going to introduce digits digits star and this which the result of the join statement of the row but we have to cast every characters in the row every digits in the row so it will be star a for a in the row okay here instead of checking the row we are going to check the digit string here we are going to check uh, we are going to initialize the digit string uh, at the at uh, dictionary keys this is also going to work but the total time taken is slightly more it's actually double so instead of doing this we can turn the algorithm using try catch as i mentioned before you can improve the algorithm of, of order n this is going to take order n every time you check against the dictionary keys the digit string uh, you can improve the algorithm further by using a try catch a combination of try catch and a hash map will turn order n to order one because every time you access a key inside the dictionary that will be order one okay try addict uh, okay this is just a testing we check whether the digits string is in a dictionary it will be the same logic as this line here so if it is not in in not in a dictionary so we are going to initialize a, a dictionary at key digit string so otherwise we are going to append the start index at the written value of the method call so we don't need this let's see the total time taken will improve from 0 0.68 into 0 0.6 okay uh i hope you guys understand this uh and good luck with your profile building at geeks4geeks.org and litcode.com all the best with your job interview and wish you luck on uh, your future thank you very much bye bye